So hi, Mike Rob Hunter here, Oliver here, and uh, today I've received a kind of a worrisome little email here that I'd like to share with you. Well, actually, uh, it's a question about objectives, but there is one sentence in there uh, that is indeed a little bit worrisome that I also like to talk about. But of course, uh, I'll answer the question. So let's uh, let's get started here. I'll read it out to you. Hi. I recently purchased a microscope and want to switch out the oil objective for a 60 times dry one as you just suggested in one of your videos. I see one of the 60 times objectives at the place where I purchased the microscope. It has the word plan on it and one does not. The one labeled plan is more expensive but I don't mind purchasing it if it means a better image. Do you know which of the two 60 times objectives I should get? Does it matter for image quality? And then in parenthesis, having a hard time reaching a live representative at the company. So, of course, thank you for the question as always. And maybe you've already found this one worrisome little statement that I was talking about. And of course, it's the last sentence. Having a hard time reaching a live representative at the company. Okay, let, let me talk about this first here. Okay, um, I'm receiving comments on my YouTube channel, on emails and so on, uh, that it's so difficult for some uh, users to actually find uh, a representative at the company to contact if they have questions. Um, that's one problem. And the second problem is, is people have problems also finding replacement parts for the microscopes that uh, they bought. And um, this is really something that I have to criticize a little bit. This is where improvement needs to be done. People buy things, they buy microscopes, they want to expand on it, they want to upgrade it, they get have it, got to have it serviced. And this is where the service somehow yeah, collapses. <laughs> it's not available, parts are not available. Here we have the situation that luckily uh, there is a replacement objective available, but the problem is, is there is no information on which one's better yeah, and uh, which one you should get or what are the problems, is it worth it? Yeah. So that's that's why I am here, <laughs> okay? Uh, so that uh, is certainly something that uh, has to be improved, I think, in the future. So let me quickly explain um, the problem to those of viewers who don't know so much about the background here and then I'll give you my opinion and it is a very clear and a very concrete and a very yeah, strong opinion that I have okay um, so it's not going to be like as well it kind of depends no I'll, I'll be the answer is, is don't get the plan objective okay <laughs> so but let me explain this first um, there are the so-called the plan and the non-plan objectives there are a whole diff bunch of different other differences as well but the plan objective are of a higher quality they are more expensive and what they do is, is they give you a sharp image all the way to the edge of the field of view so when you look through it um, then the whole image will be in focus yeah, not only the central part but also the edges okay um, and the non-plan objective they can be a little bit blurry on the side now this might not always be a very strong effect it depends also a little bit on the field of view of the eyepieces because if the eyepieces if they have a larger field of view you might see more of the corners um, however this is generally the non um, however this is not a big uh, difference and especially when you are just using uh, the microscope for looking and not for photo, photo photography um, it really might not make a huge difference because uh, the part that you're looking at is always in the center anyway so if there's something a little bit off to the side you're going to move it into the center and then you're going to refocus and then it's in the center anyway and yeah and it will be crisp right um, but when taking pictures uh, it might be a little bit more disturbing if the edges are a little bit blurry now what i have done is i've tested a variety of, of non-plan objectives the, the cheaper ones and they were still quite good and pretty clear um, up to the edge of the corner so what i would suggest is, is uh, to determine whether is it worth it or not you look at the, the um, through the eyepieces and check yourself is uh, if it, the center is in focus are you happy with the crispness um, on the edges if you are happy then it might not be worth it buying a, a plan objective because your objectives are already good enough and these days um, I found out they are 
generally pretty good anyway right so now if you now decide to well i don't care really i have the money um, i want to get the plan objective anyway then i have to now forewarn you and this is basically where i have my strong opinion why well, you probably should not get the plan objective um, because there are a couple of risks associated so you've got to clear clarify the risks first before you make a decision and the risk is is that this plan objective might even though you might be able to fit it in there it is of a different series and therefore the objectives might not be par focal anymore what does this mean um, normally it's like this this if uh, the um, if it is in focus with one magnification and a switch over to a higher magnification it will still be mostly in focus and that's the whole point uh, that means par focality um, I only have to turn the fine focus knob a little bit, but generally it will be pretty much in focus. I go up to the next higher magnification, it's still in focus. But if the objectives are of a different series, and now it does not matter if they're plan or not plan, if they're of a different series, then they might not be par focal anymore. And this means that you need to significantly refocus uh, the microscope. Now this is a problem. Um, problem number one is, is you don't know into which direction you have to focus. Do you have to lower the stage or do you have to raise the stage but that's easy to find out you try it out once and then i've had already um, this issue and I just remember i have to turn the fine focus knob two and a half times and then it's in focus again right so even that is not a huge problem um, but the problem is really more um, the kind what happens if the uh, stage uh, is too close then you switch from the 40 times to the 60 times objective and when you sw swing in the 60 times objective then the distance might be too close and maybe you're going to touch with the objective the slide and the cover glass okay so that means actually you have to lower the stage and first before you swing in the mic the new objective and then you have to find the focus again this is a problem okay um, so i would say it would only work is uh, if you essentially if the distance is large enough that you have this uh, but if you are risking actually then swinging in the objective into the microscope slide then that's not a good thing right um, it's not even a, a, so much of an issue that you now damage the front lens of the objective because this, uh, the objective swings in sideways anyway but you see uh, sometimes you have thicker specimens and sometimes the cover glass is not completely flat because maybe there's a small sand grain in your water sample and there's a small distance here and then what will happen is is that uh, you're going to touch the cover glass anyway or there might be a water droplet there which will get your front lens wet uh, especially with a high magnification objectives this is an issue because the, the working distance the distance between the objective and the slide is so small right um, so what i'm saying here is, is this is not a question of whether, whether it's a plan objective or not uh, it, it, it's more a question of is the objective of the same series um, and if your other objectives are non-plan and then you have a plan one then most likely it's of a different series and then you might have this problem and if the objective now basically is to yeah if, if, if focuses differently then you have you're running all of those problems that i just explained to you so what is my suggestion my suggestion is, is please by all means um, do get a 60 times objective it's so much more practical um, because it's a dry one you don't have to mess around with immersion oil um, so that means you can switch easily the magnification so you're using the 60 times and then you can go back to the 40 to the 10 times and you can really change magnification um, yeah um, as, you, as you like if you're using an oil immersion objective you can't because it's going to be covered with immersion oil and you cannot then use another objective because you risk uh, covering the non-oil objective with oil right it's a mess and uh, that's not something you should do because you might damage your objective and all these things yeah so definitely get a 60 times objective but only one if it is of the same series how do you know if it's of the same series well it's quite easy by looking at the design of the objective i mean does it have the same color and, and uh, is the print the same and so on then ch chances are pretty good it's the same series because there are not so many low cost objectives around of different uh, kinds right um, so that's basically my recommendation check first whether it even is worth getting a plan objective because generally if the image is quite crisp all the way to the edge then you might not even need one um, yeah um, and uh, just if you really want to get it then just make sure that there is this problem of poor focality that you just mentioned right yeah and I'm coming back uh, to the last line here yeah 
we need we need some folks in, in the microscope companies that are able to give advi advice like this, right? I mean, I'm, I'm always happy to give advice. <laughs> that keeps the YouTube channel alive, obviously. Um, but uh, uh, there's so many questions um, out there that I'm not even able to answer all of them, right? Yeah, so I think that's my take on the whole situation. Maybe um, some of uh, the viewers have different experiences, uh, different opinions on the issue. Um, but uh, yeah, for right now, I might also add another thing. It's not only a 60 times objective is not only nice if you like to observe water samples get yourself a 20 times objective uh, yeah because uh, that's uh, an ideal magnification for water samples because 60 times is already pretty highly magnifying and uh, therefore the fast moving water organisms you might lose out of uh, yeah, out the field of view very quickly oh, i'm sidetracking again happy microbe hunting as always see you around next time bye bye